What is up guys, Nick from Pacific Racer here, and um, today is going to be my first, or I guess is going to be the first episode of a series that I'm doing now. Um, I'm going to be putting this bike together that I got, it's kind of a barn find, I'll show it to you. Uh, it is a pooch, or poosh, I, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but uh, it is a old Austrian moped, uh, 2 horsepower, 50cc, all that good stuff. Um, my grandpa had this for a couple years, and then, uh, he started getting rid of some of his bikes and gave it to my dad, and my dad's had it in his barn for, for a couple months, and I've been looking at it and messing around with the idea of bringing it home and restoring it, and I thought this might be the perfect opportunity to, uh, you know, put some content on my channel finally. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything looks fairly stock. The The basket is a little aftermarket, and uh, it has some aftermarket tail or turn signals. But um, I checked out some of the carb and all that, and it looks like it's definitely going to need a rebuild. The choke is pretty much seized in there. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep this stock when I rebuild it, or if I'm going to go up to 70cc. Not really sure, but everything does look like it's going to need a total rebuild. Uh, I'll probably order up a new seat. This one's a little little dead. But, uh, I mean, the kickstand works great. The pedals, they work great. Except for the, um, the actual pedals that go in there. These are kind of stripped out. But, uh, so I might order these new arms right here. But, yeah, they, they spin around in there pretty freely. The chain's pretty greased but um petcock here you can see is obviously wet and leaking so i'll take care of that but yeah this is a what is it a 1978 pooch uh and this is the maxi lux it's a single gear uh, i think it goes up to it goes up to a lot of rpms but um they, they'll do about 30 miles an hour top speed i'm not sure what this one has left in it but uh Two horsepower. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I was gonna do a little introduction to it first, but yeah, full glass headlight. It's pretty awesome. I'm not even sure what color it is yet. Um, <laughs> I think it's red. It might be a more of a brown, but uh, yeah, this has like pretty much everything you could want. It has you know high beams, low beams. You even got a little horn and a mirror. Uh, and this this is a twist throttle. And then a uh, clutch to engage when you want to start this and how you start these is there's no start button I mean you do have to put the this button right here in run and then you pull that black clutch and you just pedal and it starts right up just like that um, so yeah let's go to a montage of me washing this So I got it all clean now, or, you know, I got a little wash job on it. I just kind of went over everything with some soap and all that scrubbed a little bit. But, um, yeah, let's take a look at it. So it looks like it is more of a, like a burgundy color. It's kind of a nice dark red. Almost a root beer brown with some red in it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the paint's fading in a couple spots, but it's not... Overall, it's not horrible. Uh, there is some little rusting spots on the wheels, you know, typical spots. But uh, some of the paint was chipping off the carb and the head and all that. But um, overall, it's not bad. Uh, got some rust down here on the exhaust, some pitting all along the top of it. Um, and yeah, I noticed that this is actual pooch branded exhaust on there which is pretty cool um but yeah this bike looks pretty much all stock except for this little bird right here carrying a little moped helmet but um i did 
find that it has a little one of those little locks on it so you can lock your wheel in place make sure nobody steals your bike but um yeah i mean i am going to be going over this i'm going to be changing out the spark plug spark plug wire uh cleaning out the carb rebuilding it but uh oh yeah this was another little aftermarket part that i found the the turn signal right here this uh takes two batteries i think it's two c batteries and it turns on whenever you um there's the button wherever you uh switch left to go left and right to go right that's a pretty cool addition that was added but yeah it has the mirror and everything so this is the the top of the line maxi lux that they had for the year uh except for the two-speed transmission the two-speed automatic transmission this one's the the single the two uh two gear one has a line that goes up to i think about 10 miles an hour before the i think it's a yellow line and then a red line that switches over whenever it switches gear but um yeah i don't know if this is i think that's how many miles it has on it right there the is that let me get this to focus real quick about uh seven thousand seven hundred and sixty seven seven thousand seven hundred and i don't know i have to check into that and see how many miles it actually has seven thousand seven hundred and sixty i think and then that probably the tenth miles or something but yeah i'll check into that see how their little gauges work but yeah it's uh i mean it's a stock bike i haven't got it to run yet there's a little bit of um rust in the gas tank at the top that i found um got a nice branded gas cap but um the cool thing about these these bikes are two stroke but uh you measure out your oil in this and then just dump the oil in there and mix your gas in there so that's that's how you mix that so it's it's uh pretty easy pretty straightforward but um yeah <laughs> do not use unleaded gasoline <laughs> that might be an issue <laughs> i'll i'm gonna dump some in there though um but yeah this is this is everything i got for now it's a fairly stock bike um still trying to figure out if i should keep it stock or if I should go, you know, aftermarket. Um, I'm probably not going to end up keeping this bike. I'm probably going to end up selling it. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with it. I'll ride it around probably once or twice. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this new series that I'm starting. Have a good night.